Well, I think we know who these belong to, don't we? Hmm. What ridiculous conclusion are you jumping to this time? No. I think these belong to somebody that we both know and you love. And by the way, Kelly doesn't wear a size six. Listen to yourself, Eden. That's a pair of shoes. Yeah. And nothing you say is going to make it any more than that. Robert, since you're on your way out, why don't you return these to flame? <laughs> what? Flame. Return these to flame. Flame? Oh, what? First it was Deborah London I was having an affair with. Now it's someone named Flame. Oh, come on, Robert. You moved your girlfriend into the attic of your house the night you took the hypocritical oath to my sister. Good thing, too, because somebody made sure Kelly wasn't up for the honeymoon. How dare you make light of your sister's situation? And you have the nerve to say that you moved in here because you want to help her? The only thing you want to do is try to find some way to pay me back for choosing her instead of you. Well, you're making me pay, but you're also making your sister pay. Why don't you stop wasting your love on someone who doesn't want it and try giving a little to Kelly for once in your life? Oh, Kelly. Oh, God, get it together. Here, I gotta get out of this house, Craig. What's happening? You hurt? Just please come get me. Please hurry. All right, you stay there. I'll be right there. <laughs> 